I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. guys welcome back to my channel Peachish it's a vlogmas day one the season is finally here today we will be doing a lot of fun stuff and as you saw worked out for a bit got ready and here waiting for a coffee I haven't had anything since 5 in the morning and it's currently 12 in the noon I'm really hungry so a uh, coffee for the very first activity of the day which is book shopping a Christmas themed one of course so I'm gonna take you along I've been very excited for this activity so I wanted to keep this in the very first day itself so that I do not compromise on Christmas book shopping it's gonna be great I hope the bookstore has already kept some really good stuff so yeah let's go and see once I grab my coffee the coffee is here. Just gonna have this now. Also got a complimentary cookie along with the cafe mocha I had ordered which was a perfect start to the day. What are you trying to search? I'm looking for Spike Family's uh, first four parts. But it turns out there's only a sixth part. I'm going to the other section. Bye. I want to buy something from this section over here. Check these books. These? What is this? But it's not Christmas themed, right? No Christmas themed books at all. Should I get this? Maybe you should. Which one is this? <laughs> oh my this spirit chicken. But haven't you watched the series already? What's here on sale? Let's see. Oh, look at this. This is a Christmas read. This is actually Halloween based, right? Like, this is a popular Halloween read. Chico, what have you bought? All of these. After a couple of hours of book shopping, we headed to a nearby restaurant to have lunch. I thought we would be eating healthy for lunch, so ordered a salad but ended the lunch with pizza and pasta. And right now we're just heading to a store to grab some stuff that we need. After which we both have some work. I need to catch up on some writing and she needs 
to complete some of her assignments and we're also going to show you the books we got hey guys i'm back and let me just show you the books i got honestly i did not find a lot probably because it's too soon for christmas here and i've got a couple of books okay so the first one i got is this one it's by jk rowling and it's the christmas pig it's sort of like a kids read but i feel like this one will be a quick read within a day or something like that i've never read this and also the cover is absolutely stunning so i just had to get this you know so since i already picked up this light read i wanted to go for something uh, a little mysterious this christmas so i picked out this agatha christie's book hercule poirot's christmas i have read agatha christie's book but i've never read uh, the book uh, based on this character before he's supposed to be this belgian detective if i'm not wrong she has written so many books based on this character on this detective uh, and i'm excited to read uh, the first one being christmas themed the last one i picked is a very cheesy romance novel now i know i'm going to end up watching a lot of cheesy romantic movies this christmas so i just wanted to keep the novel bit limited so i just picked one and this one is um, one day in december by josie silver i haven't read from this author before so she meets this guy on this bus and she thinks she'll never see him again though she never believed in love at first sight she knows he's the one for her and a year later at a christmas party and her friend introduces to a guy who of course is the boy from the bus and though she was determined to let him go her life has other plans for her i feel like this is a really good romantic read this christmas also got these candy spoons that you can make hot chocolate with and apparently this makes three glasses of hot chocolate a per spoon so me and my sister are going to try this out tomorrow and right now i need to complete a little work and then get ready to go for dinner like we've made a reservation today so it's this really nice place that has a fine dining menu for a week we're really excited to try the duck roast and stuff we're just gonna probably complete our work and then get ready and head out to the restaurant i've gone for a really simple look here because tonight is all about christmas food festive food dessert that i'm super excited if you cannot tell already i cannot wait to bite into that dessert and even the salad mm, my mouth is watering already so let's just go that's not roasting Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering. So I'm here at this restaurant I told you all about. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. hey there it's the next morning i just feel i haven't talked to you guys a lot in this and have just eaten or probably shop a lot that has gone down and that's been going on so let's catch up for a bit my skin started flaring up i do not know if it's because i've started working out rosacea gets worse with workouts so i've just not applied anything on my skin today and i probably will go to the doctors today or tomorrow so that i can just get that sorted and it is not a problem if i need to wear makeup and stuff also the dinner was really good as you all saw the number of dishes actually it was a preset menu but since we were many of us uh, we could uh, try every option and just taste every dish uh, my favorite definitely was the salad i've never had such a fresh salad in mangalore like it was 
really really good i'm not even kidding i definitely will go there for a uh, more stuff if you're in manglo and you want to have like a really good italian meal do check ira's kitchen out and the place is also very cozy and uh, with really good interiors it gives kind of moroccan indie vibes if you get it and the owner is also very sweet and accommodating so yeah make sure you check uh, them out the worst thing happened after the dinner because i came back home i just removed my eye makeup and stuff i was really tired and too full to even vlog anything yesterday and i changed into my sleepwear but like i just literally passed out and i've had to go to the gym actually today because i had personal training session my very first personal training session but i missed it and i woke up 2 hours later than i was supposed to like i felt so guilty for not only not uh, turning up to the gym but also to make my trainer wait but either way she was going to be there i just do not like you know not showing up i'm not even late to any meetings or even friend dates as such because i do not like people waiting for me because i do not want that to be done to me so i just felt so horrible i could not deal with my emotions but i called her and i apologized to her she was very chill about it so probably i'm going to start personal training by next week but then i also went to the gym just to do cardio for a bit and then i just came came back home and did a few a uh, posts for the internship thing i'm doing so i also missed out on reading the book that i bought yesterday i was supposed to read it last night with like hot chocolate and stuff but i couldn't be asked to eat or drink anything else after that meal it's lunch time and i made a little egg masala so let me just show you ta da I know it does not look good okay so now I'm going to make a healthy wrap I'm going to take this chapati in case you're wondering if I made this uh, gold chapati I did not my mom made it the only gold thing I know is me and <laughs> Uh, the chapatis that i make are square for some reason i'm going to show you all next time maybe i'm just going to use some ketchup i just realized i don't have ketchup so i don't know i'll be back so guess what i found ketchup this is literally why i save all the ketchup that comes with pizzas and sandwiches so i can use this now let's go make a wrap Hey guys, it's later in the day. It's almost 7:20, and I finally finished today's work. So I had to order a bunch of decor stuff for uh, Christmas. Also, uh, edit some vlogs. I have also made a rough schedule for the vlogmas. Let's see how things go. I'm a little hungry right now, so let's just wind up the work and go and have some hot chocolate and read the book I bought yesterday. It's been around a minute or two but I'm still not able to mix the hot chocolate. The candy isn't melting. The milk was definitely hot but I don't know why this isn't working. Let me just add more hot milk. So I had to reheat the milk and let's see if the thing okay. <laughs> Can you see this? It definitely did not turn out to be the way I expected it to. It's kind of like chocolate milk rather than hot chocolate, but let's just taste it and see. Mmm, it's actually not bad. Three servings from one spoon just for 70 rupees. I feel like this is a really great deal. Uh it you can't describe this as hot chocolate like a rich hot chocolate but definitely a very um caramelly uh, or like if eclairs had a milk like a hot milk it's kind of like that because it has heavy caramel notes and it's really sweet and light 
I guess it's really good for those days when you don't want to have a really thick and heavy hot chocolate but you want to just have something very light but also sweet and I'm gonna enjoy my hot chocolate with the first Christmas read of the month I hope you like this video. The upcoming vlogs will be more festive as I've planned more decorating videos and hauls in the coming weeks of this month. Make sure you subscribe, like this video and let me know how you found this one.